ride a bike every single day, does that make me a biker? If I sell a house, does that make me a realtor if I do it once? No. So just because I cheat, does it actually mean that I'm going to cheat every day and I'm a cheater? No. Did I cheat? Yes. Am I a cheater? No. Y'all, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Wildflower Tea, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than my normal content, but honestly, not too much. Let me explain. So there's a channel out here by the name of Keeping Up With The Nodjums. I've been watching this on and off for about a year or so, and I've talked about it in many different live streams. Essentially, this whole channel is nothing but a reality TV show just here on YouTube. And it's ran by two young women by the name of Laura Notjum, who is the original owner of the channel, and her girlfriend slash baby mama, Norali Morales. These two young women have found a way to profit off of these dramatized scenarios that drags the audience in wondering if these situations they find themselves in are real or not. They have posted some pretty wild and outlandish content. They have done it in a way to where it leaves the audience coming back each week wondering what's going to happen next. Like I said before, I have been an on again, off again viewer because there have been times where they just went a little bit too far for my likings. And for those of you who have never seen any of this content, of course, I will pop in some clips here. That way you can see the context of what I mean. The channel itself started off as a couple's channel between Laura and another girl by the name of Michaela. They were together for over three years and they made a lot of couples content, different vlogs, pranks, challenges, and from that content, they gathered a pretty decent little following. Then over a year ago, Laura started stepping out doing things with other women and that is when we got introduced to Nerali. From there, all hell kind of broke loose and it went from being a semi-genuine channel to I don't even know what you call it. What I do know is that this Laura chick really found a lot of entertainment out of stringing both of these ladies along and it happened for several months. It's not Michaela's fault. Um... She's a great person, guys, but I just feel like I'm not in love with her anymore. Of course, I love her, and I love her to pieces, but, you know, we've been together for a while, like over three years, and it is hard. It's hard watching me fall out of love with the person I wanted to build a family with. Now, Riley dripped out. Let me see. She got on the Gucci's. What's that? What's that? What's that? How do you feel about this? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? How do you feel? Like, let me just see. Like, how do you feel? It. You love it? Yep. If I wanted you back, like, like, can I have you back right now? Like, meaning? Like, right now, I was like, all bullshit. Like, um, would you be willing to get back with me? Of course, but it wouldn't be just simple. What would have to like? What would have to happen? You would have to work for it. Like, of course, like. I would be willing to get back with you and stuff like that, but like you would actually have to like show me that what you're telling me is how you really feel. Girl, ain't nobody worried about that camera. So open the door. How do you even do, Laura? Like, open it. What is this? Stop. I'm I knew gonna start walking on I'm gonna start walking on your windshield. Stop. What Stop. Narali, what the fuck? How do you even How put you up? Open it? Yes. Right How now. Do you even put up with right now. So what is your problem? Stop. Hi. Hi. Don't give a fuck. This shit is crazy. Um, this girl got on the fucking top of the car. And I'll do it again. Go and with I'll your bad self. Ain't nobody fucking worry. I'm just Good. saying. So you just general, keep saying it because it's not going to change. Wild. You just crazy. Yeah, very wild. Very yeah. that wild. It's not cute. Y'all don't feel comfortable? Please do not do this. So are you sure you want to box it? Yeah, they just box it. You sure you want to box it? I'm not talking about it. Nerali, like, bitch, all right, y'all come to each other's face. I don't need y'all to talk shit. Say what y'all got to say. I'm not going to play much of that because, in my opinion, it's just pure insanity. But you can see that Laura, the one behind the camera, eats this stuff up. She loves to see these girls fight after her. And she, for real, played with these girls' emotions for her own personal entertainment and the public's as well. I will say when it comes to Nerali and Michaela, I believe a lot of this was genuine, especially in the beginning. They were fighting for this girl. And you can tell that they are younger adults. So as childish or immature as it may be, this is how the channel turned into what it is today.
So after several months of dealing with this emotional manipulation and being treated this way, Michaela did finally go her separate way. And she is out here, you guys, living her best life. She's happy. She's healthy. I will leave her channel down below because it's a whole different vibe. And I'm so happy that she was able to get out of this situation because let's be real about it. This is toxic. There's not enough love or money in the world to make me want to live like that. After Michaela decided to leave this situation, it was just Lord. Laura and Nirali. And by this time, Laura had already gotten a taste of just how much money she could make off of this type of content. So naturally, she wanted to keep the drama rolling in. And the saddest part about this whole situation, plus the biggest reason why I want to talk about it here on my main channel, is when it comes to Nirali, this girl is loyal and committed to Laura and her happiness on another level. Going as far as getting her name and Laura's face tatted all over her body, playing along with these little games that Laura wants to play. At one point, she was allegedly dating not one, not two, but four different women at one time. And last but most, definitely not least, you guys, Narali went through the whole IVF process to have a child with this girl. And this is my whole issue with this channel. While some of it may be fake and just for clicks and views, some of it is real. And as the audience, it is hard to weed through what's reality and what is fake. I could only imagine being Narali here. She she is six, seven months pregnant, playing along with Laura's petty little ass games while she runs around with three or four different women at a time. And Raleigh believes, oh, Laura's just doing this to make content on their channel and provide for them as a family. Nothing's legit about it. Meanwhile, Laura is using all of this as a scapegoat to do whatever the hell she wants to do and is actually catching feelings for these other women. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater. So because of that, I'm not surprised surprised by Laura's actions. And I have definitely felt some type of way about Narali too in the past. But at the end of the day, nobody deserves to be treated that way, especially the mother of your child. Once you make the decision to have a family with someone, it becomes about that baby. It's no longer about you. And my friends, that is exactly why I personally stopped watching the channel because the selfishness, greed, and emotional manipulation is so real. When I say that I am just barely scared skimming the surface of the craziness that has went on on this channel, y'all. That is an understatement. But ironically, about five months ago, the channel went completely silent. There was no drama, no more craziness happening. And the next thing you know, Laura and Raleigh are coming back, being honest with their audience about the fact that a lot of their content was dramatized. And although some of it was real, a lot of it wasn't. They also said that they would be skimming back on the drama and changing their content to something more family friendly. And they seem to be genuinely happy together. They started posting a lot of family vlogs and surprisingly enough, the views on their channel did not seem to be negatively affected by this change. It appears that their audience was over the fake dramatized mess as well and wanted more authenticity from them. And just last week, they did welcome their sweet baby boy King into the world. Everything seemed to be going great. Both of them have been adjusting to motherhood and Raleigh has been on cloud nine, literally having all of her dreams come true. And this should be the end of all that craziness in the beginning of their real lives, learning and growing as women and most importantly as parents, because let's be real, that's a full-time job. But y'all, I swear you cannot make this stuff up. With less than a week of parenthood under their belt, everything comes to a head yet again. She went on a business trip somewhere. I'm not gonna just sit here and like talk about where she went in her business because that's irrelevant. She left, we had this dinner like in like celebration of our newborn baby and where I thought our life was headed and everything that we have going on. I really don't ever go through her phone because I don't feel like I need to. She doesn't ever make me feel like I need to go through her phone. And her phone vibrated and obviously like when it vibrated, I just glanced over and looked at her screen. And it was just text that I'm gonna put the image cause I took screenshots and I sent it to myself. I really don't wanna sit here and just cry and let you guys see how vulnerable I am right now because you know, I just had a baby and going through like what I went through, like as a mother and as a wife and as trying to be like a perfect person for your family and thinking that God like has people in your life for a reason. I really try to be the best wife, the best mom, 
I'm the best. Everything. I don't care about money. I don't care about this house. I don't care about cars. I don't care about materialistic things. I genuinely just wanted to be happy. I wanted a happy family. I don't want to be a broken family. I don't want my children to go and see certain things. I just want to be happy and I really thought that I was in a very good place and the truth is that we are not in a good place and as much as I want to sit here and not believe certain things like I'm not dumb I'm not dumb and I know what I saw and I just feel very disrespected because I didn't have a baby for Laura I didn't have a baby like I'm not gonna sit here and like say oh my god like this woman just I feel disrespected because I had a baby for her. No, I had a baby for our family. I had a baby because it's what I wanted and I will always be a great mother, but I just feel very disrespected. Tell me during labor and tell me during just the whole last two years of us being together that they love me and they want the best for me and they're on my team. It's like disrespectful. Baby mama drama is how I'm feeling right now. I don't know what's going on, why it's going on but it's stupid and it's bullshit trending on tiktok all over youtube laura's a cheater laura's a cheater laura's a cheater i promise y'all i am not a cheater those messages that my baby mama found i don't know man I'm like so sad and depressed right now because i feel so bad i actually will go ahead and facetime ashley when i get up and get ready to leave from here, but again, y'all, I just want to say I'm sorry, and hopefully when I FaceTime Ashley, y'all will understand that we are just friends. Baby mom, you watching this, please get off the internet. You have to understand, these people are just laughing at you. These people don't care about you. You know, you think you take your problems to the internet and it solves it. All these people do is they're happy that you feel miserable. They're happy that this is going on with us. They are happy, babe. They don't like this, so please stop. Hello? Hello? What's up, mama? What's up? Where you at? Right now, I'm here uh, running some errands. Where you at? Oh, I'm doing the same thing. I just got off work. I'm recording right now. So basically, like, you know those messages that she has seen and, like, our screenshots and shit? Yeah. Like, I told her, like, you know, it wasn't all that. Like, I mean, they trying to say, like, I'm a cheater and shit. Like, right? Like, we don't be fucking with each other like that, huh? I mean, if you want me to lie to your family. <laughs> not like that man but you know what i'm saying like like i told you me and her don't even be with each other like that you know what i'm saying so like her going on the internet doing all that shit like she being extra you feel me she really on the internet crying and trying to play like this like i'm cheating i'm cheating type shit like me and you don't even be like fucking like that or nothing you know what i'm saying we just friends you feel me i mean that's not what you were talking the other night hell nah. <laughs> hey, look, look, listen I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this part out just, hey, I need you to say that we're just friends, though. Just for the internet. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to cut that right, part out. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you want me to say that we're just friends and then say that other shit afterwards? Yeah, yeah, just say uh, we're friends. So that way, like, on the internet, they don't think, like, we actually fuck with each other. All right, but... All right. Like, so, like, I see all these people on the internet and shit, like, you know, they say, like, we fuck with each other and shit, right? We just friends? Yeah, we just friends. Ain't not more to it. Yeah. Like, tell them, man. Like, I'm recording right now, so. Yeah, I can let all of them know that we friends. Exactly. I just cannot contain myself because Laura thinks that this is a game like you think that this is a game you think it's cute you think it's funny and you're not what you're not gonna do is come on here and make me seem like i'm like crazy and i'm just this whack woman who's just coming on here to to, to make things up and make myself look stupid you block me right you block the mother of your child you block your wife the the woman that you claim that you love and that you want to have a family with you block me you block me you can't have even the decency to sit and have a real conversation with me about your actions that have broken and crushed my soul. And on top of it, it doesn't help that I just had a C-section, which obviously is like after you give labor, after you give birth, you're just more sensitive to things. All of you guys sitting here saying, oh, no, um, Nirali or <clears throat> uh, the Nadja family channel is sitting here trying to make stuff for clout, is sitting here trying to make stuff for views. First of all, nobody needs clout or views because everybody knows who we are, point blank, period. Nobody needs to sit here and, and, and make stuff up. 
No, I don't have to do that. And secondly, I just told y'all a week ago, I thought that we were going to have a family channel. I thought that we were going on the right path. I thought that things were changing. Do I want to post this? No. No, I don't want to post shit like this at all on my, like, on my life. I do not have nobody to talk to. I don't have no one. It is a really messed up and sad situation, but what is even sadder is now there's a child in the mix of all of this. And that's the main reason I wanted to talk about it because normally I would not bring it any more attention to a channel of this nature. What makes it even worse is because of the way that they have manufactured their channel with all of this dramatized BS. Their audience questions everything they put out because of the way that they have done things. So when Raleigh sits there and says, oh, people think we're doing this for clout and it's fake and it's not real. We don't got to do this. People know who we are. Absolutely people know who you are, but why? Because of the clickbait content you guys have put out. Now she's sitting here. She has no one to turn to. She's literally sacrificed her whole family, her friends, everybody for Laura. And as sad as it is at the same time, this is the repercussions of what happens when you decide to run a channel in that way. In saying all of that, I do not feel like anyone deserves to be treated this way and if it is real man Laura really should be ashamed of herself the fact that you're doing it alone is messed up but to do it right after the mother of your child gives birth to your child I really don't think it gets any lower than that furthermore that sweet little innocent baby did not ask to come into this situation or to be in this world the day that you decided that you wanted to have a family was the day that your selfish needs and wants went out the window if you are selfishly going to do whatever the heck you won't not giving a crap what it's going to do to that baby as that baby grows that baby is better off without you in their life causing mayhem and issues for them as they grow up i truly do hope that this is fake and all for clout for the sake of that baby and i know that this may sound like very harsh opinions you guys but this comes after watching laura's latest response to Narali, and it is just honestly i'm speechless i'm gonna just be real with y'all so if y'all ready for me to keep it real that I'm going to keep it real. I don't care if y'all going to call me a narcissist. I don't care if y'all going to call me a cheater, a liar. I'm going to just be honest. I'm going to just be real. And if you're not, if you aren't ready to hear the truth, you're on the wrong page. Did I cheat on a Riley? Yes, I cheated. Am I sorry? No. The reason why I say I'm not sorry is because before I met Narali, she knew what kind of person I was. She knew I was already a cheater. She know I had different girlfriends. She knew what type of person I was. Some days I like boiled eggs. Some days I like scrambled eggs. But do I eat boiled eggs every day? No. You know what I'm saying? Some days I want to be with my BM. Some days I don't. Do I want to be with? Do I want to be with my BM every day? No. There's so much fish in the sea. I gotta get a taste of it, all of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't think cheating is cute. Do you know how many people cheat? It is very rare to find loyalty these days. Why are y'all bashing me? It makes no sense. Narali knew what it was before we got together. Why did I have a baby with her? She wanted a baby with me. She she fucking begged me for a kid, you know? She like, let's do it, let's do it. You know, at first I wouldn't, I didn't want a baby in the beginning. And then I was like, you know what? I love her. So you know what that means. She loves me. It's like she wanted to trap me when I wanted to trap her. So we trapped each other. But I'm letting y'all know that Narali isn't going nowhere. She's my baby mama. And I need to give her a daughter. Because I love her. I went to my therapist. I talked to her. She told me that someone like me cannot be saved. She said that I need more than just a therapist. She told me basically that I'm like a piece of shit. Moral of the story, if I ride a bike every single day, does that make me a biker? If I sell a house, does that make me a realtor if I do it once? No. So just because I cheat, does it actually mean that I'm going to cheat every day and I'm a cheater? No. Did I cheat? Yes. Am I a cheater? No.
I can't y'all this situation is so wild and I couldn't just see it and not say something I do apologize I know this content is much different than my regular content but it's outraging the arrogancy the selfishness this is just pure childishness and immaturity and I'm sorry but to hear Laura talk about her own child in this way is absolutely disgusting I am so done this video I know was all over the place very ranty but let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below I don't don't know if I will continue talking about this channel probably not unless you guys would like for me to continue following and keeping you up to speed but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching I do appreciate you guys to the moon and stars and until my next one bye y'all